Alright, time to do another collection video. I do these collection videos every single year, and I haven't done one for this year just yet. So, we're going to do one. Uh, this will be my entire music collection, um, which includes cassettes, CDs, and records. We are going to start off with cassettes, and then CDs, and then records. Um, I only have a handful of cassettes. If you guys do enjoy this video, then don't forget to leave a like. It does help out the channel. So, And don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed yet. Please do so. I do a lot of music-related content. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I do store my cassettes in this uh, wooden case here. I just need one more cassette, and then this case is full. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. The first cassette I ever bought was Jesus is King on cassette. Nice blue tape. And then I got Yeezus. I'm going to try to go quick just because this video is going to be long. So make sure to get popcorn, drinks, and whatnot. I'm not sure how long this video will be. I, I'll try to make it a... I'll try to not make it too long. We got after hours. This one's on a nice red tape. We got Post Malone. Hollywood's bleeding. If you guys do want this tape, then let me know. I'll sell it. Um, I just don't see myself playing this album that much. So we got Joji Nectar on a nice clear tape. And then I got Smithereens on a nice, what is this, black tape? Okay. And then we got What Could Possibly Go Wrong by Dominic Fike on a nice clear tape. Amine, this is Limbo. A nice green tape. We got Phoebe Bridgers Punisher. On a nice neon tape, which is probably my favorite tape that I own. Just because the color is really, really nice. We got um, Hairstyles Fan Line on a nice black tape. And then we got Wanna by Gunna on a nice purple tape. Also a very nice color. Uh, we got Slime Language 2. And this is on a nice neon case which is pretty nice and then uh, the tape is green so and then we got punk on a nice neon pink really really nice and the tape is like pinkish orange ish neon and we got a few good things by saba love this album on a nice um green and then we got Non Perishable by Tugaloo on a nice blue tape. And that is it for my cassette collection. Now let's move on to my CDs. I would like to mention that I do play my tapes in this Walkman. I also have a CD player that plays cassette tapes. And so every time I play my cassettes, I use that. All the equipment, all the things that you see, like the cassette holder, these CD cases, um, my CD player, my Walkman, all that will be in the description down below. So if you guys do want to buy uh, what you see here in this video, then make sure to click the links in the description down below. I'll make sure to add everything that you see in this video um, in, the, in the description down below. But yeah. Let's get started with the CDs. The first ones I want to show you are the ones that cannot fit into the CD case, which is like these things. Um, so, yeah. The first one is Blast, No Love Lost, one of my favorite albums of all time. Such a good album. Um, I also got here g -Z, These Things Happen. Um, I own this just for nostalgia reasons. Same with uh, Wooden Stark Out. I do love the CD packaging on those two. I got The Weeknd, Kissland, 
Uh, love the packaging on that. And then we got here Mac Miller Circles. And then, and then I do have Cool Summer. Boom, right there. And then I have Watch the Throne. A oh, nice CD packaging. And then I have my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, the deluxe version that comes with the Runaway CD. This is the second copy that I own of this uh, album because I have another one uh, that is not sealed. Phoebe Bridger's Punisher. A uh, nice CD packaging. I also have um, Stranger in the Allops, her best album for sure. Love this album. Sounds so good on vinyl, so I highly recommend getting the vinyl. I got Space Jam, a new Lexi. The only reason why I own this is because of the St. John uh, song, Just For Me. I got John Bellion, The Human Condition. Love this album. Such a great album to listen to during the summer. So, uh, yeah. We got Zoo by Russ. Also a good album. Non-Perishable by Toby Lou. We got Trippy Red, A Love Letter to You 3. The only Trippy Red album I really need. Juice World, um, Death Race for Love. The only reason why I own this is because it reminds me of a PlayStation 1 game. Or, yeah, PlayStation 1. We got X17. Love this album. The track list on the back. Exclamation point, his best project. I mean, not exclamation point. Question mark. It's the back. Skins. Bad vibes forever. Back. We got Challenge Gambino because the internet on a nice lenticular cover. This isn't explicit, so that kind of sucks, honestly. But hey, I guess I sacrificed the swearing and all that shit for some dope packaging. Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon, pop smoke. We got Young Thug, Punk. This is my second copy. We got Stony by Post Malone. We got Beer Bronx and Bentley's. Um, my favorite album from Post Malone. And we got Hollywood's Bleeding by Post Malone. I don't, I'm not too sure if I want to cop his latest album, his fourth one. I don't know if I want to cop it. The album wasn't really good to me, and it's definitely my least favorite from his uh, discography. We got The Weeknd. This is a nice lenticular cover art. You can see it is signed. And then we do have... Uh, we got Don FM. We got Tory Lane's Chicks Tape 5. Love this album. I wished it dropped on vinyl as well. Because this album is probably, I want to say it's my favorite project from Tory Lane's. Either this one or Alone at Prom. Which I also need on CD and vinyl. We got uh, Cassius Clay, Death Race for Love. Oh, no. Death Race for Love. Deadpan Love. That's what I meant to say. And then we got Eastland's Love Letter. Play Black. Still sealed. I have two uh, copies of this album because I love it so much. Let's move on. We got here Punk. This is my... This is the other copy that I was talking about. This one is signed by him. I'm not sure if you guys could see his signature right here. I'm pretty sure it's not hand signed, but hey, it is what it is. This one's in a jewel case. We got Future, High Off Life. Another great record. We got Future Honest, underrated album. A lot of people don't really talk about this project too much, but hey, it's still... One of his best, honestly. Uh, 
right, now we're getting into the Migos. We got Cuevo, Huncho Jack. No, no, it's not Huncho Jack. Cuevo Huncho is what I meant to say. The GOAT, take off. May he rest in peace. This is the last rocket. Such a good album. I still need to own that on vinyl, and I don't have it. Uh, got Offset, Father of Four. Can't wait for his new album, Culture One and Culture Two. We got a little baby, Street Gossip, his best project to date. We got Gonna Wanna. We got 21 Savage, Savage Mode 2. Such a good album. We got Not All Heroes Wear Capes. I still need to get Metro Boomin's newest album, um, Heroes vs. Villains. Uh, we got ASAP Rocky, Long Live ASAP. And then we got Uzi, uh, Eternal Take on CD, and Love is Rage, his best project. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. We got J. Cole. Uh, 2014 Forest Hill Drive. We got Taboo by Denzel Curry. Amine, Good For You. Uh, Amine Limbo. Malibu by Anderson Pack. Igor, Tyler the Creator. And then we got Wolf. Joji, Ballads One, and his sophomore album, Nectar. Got Travis Scott, Birds and Traps sing McKnight. We also got Astroworld and the franchise single. I don't have Rodeo on CD. Also got Life of a Don. Amazing album. Um, and then we got A Few Good Things by Saba. Amazing album. My favorite album of last year. All right. We got Jaden, Iris. Such a good album. Un Verano Sin Ti. Still need this on vinyl. Hopefully Bad Bunny drops it on vinyl. We got O Seven O Shake. You Can't Kill Me, which I am wearing her shirt right now. O Seven O Shake. Love this album. Uh, Sally, Modus Vivendi. Never dropped on CD. Uh, Free Black. My favorite album from his. We got East Atlanta Love Letter. There. I still need his uh, newest album on CD. I do have it on vinyl, but not on CD. Got Down Caesar Key Studio One. This is some dope CD packaging. Uh, we got Never Enough by Down Caesar. My favorite album of the year so far. We got Omar Polo, Ivory. Love this album. We got Channel Orange by Frank Ocean, the only official CD that I have from Frank Ocean. Um, Blonde is obviously hard to get on CD. Um, what could possibly go wrong? Love this album. I can't wait for his newest project. It comes out next week, I think. Well, by the time you guys see this video, it might already be out. But we'll see. Because I am recording this uh, the on the 27th of June. So we got Bakar, Nobody's Home. Love this album. He is also supposed to drop a new album this year. So it's going to be very good. We got here the Virgil edition. This is still Bakar, Nobody's Home. And the back is just plain. Uh, we got Give On, Give or Take. And then we got um, Smino. Love for Rant. We got here Kid Cudi. Uh, this is his debut album, which obviously is amazing. We got Kid Cudi, Man the Moon 2. His best project, for sure. Without a doubt. Um, love this album. We got Pusha T. It's almost dry. Still need this on vinyl. Okay, now we're getting into my Kanye West collection. I did show you Watch the Throne summer already so now I'm gonna sh um so now i'm just gonna show you guys the rest of my collection which is just kanye west so i got kanye west vh1 storytellers we got college dropout 
late registration, graduation, 808s and heartbreak. We got my beautiful Dr. of Fantasy. This is the deluxe edition. I told you this is my second copy. Um, and then I have here just a standard edition. So one, so on the deluxe, you could rotate out the cover. Um, but with this one, you cannot. We got Jesus. Love this album. We got Yay. Kissy Ghost. Jesus is King. And last but not least, Donda. Now, the only one I am missing is The Life of Pablo, but that's because it never dropped on CD, vinyl, or cassette. Like, it never had an official release. That's the only one that is missing from my collection. But as far as his albums that did get official release on CD, I own pretty much everything. Um, so, yeah, that is it for my CD collection. Now, let's get into my vinyl collection, which will probably take up most of this video. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I did forget to show you guys the box sets that I got with some of these CDs. All right, so the first one is Life of a Don by Don Tolliver. Hold up, I think I'm holding it around. Boom. Just a plain, simple box. I did do an unboxing of this, so if you guys want to check it out, just go through my YouTube channel page, and you'll be able to find it. We got Joji Smithereens. Just a plain white box. And then I got Down Caesar, Never Enough. And then I got Give You On, Give or Take. This has the track list all over the box. So, yep, that is it. Now, now let's get into the. Okay, so now let's get into my vinyl collection. Uh, we are going to start off with singles, my seven inches. Um, so the first one is Kanye, not Kanye West, Ty Dolla Sign, Ego Death, featuring um, Kanye West, FK Twigs, and Skrillex. We got Wash Us in the Blood by Kanye West. This one's on a nice red uh, record. And then The Scots by Kid Cudi and Travis Scott. I did have Franchise on vinyl, but I gave that one to my brother. So Okay, now we're moving on to soundtracks. So the first one is The Polar Express on soundtrack. It's my, one of my favorite Christmas movies. I... Mostly because of nostalgia. I think I watched this movie too many times as a kid that now I just like it. I got here the greatest movie soundtrack of all time, Shrek 1. I still need Shrek 2 on vinyl, so hopefully they press that um, pretty soon. Nice great record. I do have Monster Inc. here on vinyl. I wish they would make like a nice solid pressing of this instead of just a picture disc. But yeah, um, my favorite Pixar movie of all time. We got Hey Arnold, The Music of Volume 1. Such a good show. Um, the soundtrack is really nice to listen to, especially if you just want like a nice, chill listen. Definitely need this. We got Sponge Taker, um, Everywhere at the End of Bikini Bottom. Uh... Yeah, it's not a Spongebob soundtrack, so for those that are thinking it is, it's not. Um, for those that know what this is, I am selling this record. So if you guys do want this, then hit me up on Instagram. I'll throw my Instagram uh, link in the description down below. So, uh, yep. Next up, we got Bloodsport. Also an amazing soundtrack as well. And last but not least is Superfly, uh, the soundtrack by Future. I actually haven't seen this movie or show. No, it's a movie. I haven't seen the movie, but the soundtrack is actually pretty good. All right, so these next few records I'm actually selling. So if you guys do want any of these, of the ones that I'm going to show you guys next, 
then again, hit me up on Instagram. All right, so the first one is Freddie Gibbs, Straight Killer. This is the Vinyl Me Please exclusive. Uh, still brand new. And I also have Nappy Roots uh, from Vinyl Me Please as well. Uh, her favorite color, light blue. Um, I'm selling all these. And all these are from Vinyl Me Please. Guy here, Young Thug, Punk. This is the pink and splatter variant. Guy here, Kid Cudi, Man the Moon 3. This is just the standard black edition. Uh, I'm selling this one just because I already have the other variant. The, I think I got the Walmart version or the Walmart variant. Uh, so I don't really need the OG black. I got I Know Nigo. This is the Claws edition. Um, but yes, yeah, still sealed. Selling this one because I don't really play this album that much, honestly. It's a bit forgetful, so not, I'm not selling this one. Got Han Barahana. The reason why I'm selling this record is because I actually own the Vinyl Me Please exclusive edition. So I don't really need the standard edition. But uh, if you guys want this, then let me know. Um, I am selling it. It's such a good album. If you guys haven't heard it, go listen to it and then come back. And then go hit me up on Instagram and I'll sell it for you. And then last but not least is Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon 1. This is the OG edition. It's the black edition. Still sealed. Uh, this was one of the first few records I bought. So, uh, yeah, I'm selling it because I already own the Vinyl Me Please exclusive. So, I don't really need two copies of the same record. So, yeah, I'm selling those ones. So, if you guys do want them, then hit me up on Instagram and we'll work something out. We got here 2014 Forest Hill Drive uh, by J. Cole. We got Trippy Red, Pegasus. We got Gold Link, Diaspora. This is a nice uh, yellow record, so pretty cool. Gold Digger Sound by Leon, uh, by Leon Bridges. Then I got here Black Pumas, self-titled, and a nice white vinyl. Khalid, American Teen, Free Spirit, Lemon Boy, by, by who? By Cape Town, by Cape Town. We got Hairstyles Fine Line. We got a uh, Gorilla Song Machine. Some Nights by Fun. We got Quest Searching System. Oh, and I am also selling this record. So if you guys do want this, then let me know. We got g -Eazy, The Beautiful and Damned. It's funny because I don't own this on CD, but I own it on vinyl. Uh, it's pretty funny, I'm not going to lie. Logic Under Pressure. The Incredible True Story. It's best album. And then I got No Pressure by Logic, which I'm also selling. So if you guys do want this record, then hit me up on Instagram. We got John Bellion, um, Translations Through Speakers. We got his, I got all his discography on vinyl. So I got The Separation. And then I got The Definition. The Definition. We got The Human Condition. Which I also own on CD, and then the Glory Sound Prep. Hopefully, he releases a new album. He has been ghosting all of us since 2019. We've got Post Malone, Beer Bongs, and Bentleys. The only Post Malone album I need on vinyl. Stony is good, but I don't think it's that good to own on vinyl. And then I did own Hollywood's Bleeding, but sold it. Um, Razu on vinyl, and then I got 
Memories Don't Die by Tory Lanez on vinyl. The only Tory Lanez album I have on vinyl. All right, so now I'm just resting because I still have a lot of more records to go through. Gee, look at this. I still have this, all this, these, and then these, and then all that. Okay, so let's continue. We got here, Dinner Party, self-titled album. Love this project um, so much that I... Also copped the record store day exclusive. Then a party dessert. Love this record so much. Uh, we got Cherry Bomb by Tyler the Creator, which I still have yet to un unbox. I still have it sh shrink wrapped and whatnot. Um, I'm still thinking if I should keep it, sell it. I don't know. We'll see. We got Tyler the Creator Igor. The only other Tyler the Creator album that I have. I still need to get Fireboy and Call Me If You Get Lost. Uh, we got Childish Gambino because the internet. And then we got here the record store, the exclusive Kawaii. And then we got here Awaken My Love. And now we're moving on to Mac Miller. We got here kids. Shout out to Nasdesk for this record. Thank you. We got here Good AM, Mac Miller. Once again. And then we got Divine Feminine. Another amazing record. Honestly, I want to say that's my favorite record. It's either between that or Circles. Um we got Swimming, the Urban Outfitters exclusive. I think all these are Urban Outfitters exclusive. Um, and then we got Circles. Love this record. And then last but not least is Malibu by Anderson Pack. My favorite Anderson Pack record. We got here Chance the Rapper 10 Day. I do have his whole discography. And all these are official. Got acid rap. I do know that he did drop the 10 year exclusive edition, which I didn't cop because I already had this one. So we got Coloring Book, my favorite chess to rapper album. And then we got here The Big Day. I don't know why I own it, I guess, because I wanted to complete his discography. Uh, a kid named Cuddy. This is a Bootleg is not official. Um, love this record. Uh, we got here. Uh, this is the end of the day. Man on the moon. Man on the moon. Kid Cudi. This is the Bun on Me Please exclusive. And then I also do have the second one. My favorite Kid Cudi record. And then I got here Indie Cut. Still sealed. Still haven't yet unboxed it. Um, I should though. And then Man on the Moon 3, this is the Walmart exclusive. We got Han Barahana. This is the Vinyl Please exclusive. This is the second copy that they own for this one. This is the reason why I'm selling the other one. It's because I already have this one. So I kind of want to open this one up. It's still sealed. I haven't yet opened it because I still have the other one. We got Dominic Feike, the demo tapes. Love this record. Uh, and then we got well, What Could Possibly Go Wrong. I'm super excited for his new album um, that comes out July 7th, I think, or 10th. I, f I forget. We got here Bakar. Nobody saw him. One of, my favorite, one of my favorite records of last year. We got Blast. Um, what is this? What is it called again? Don't Just for Clarity. Got no Love Lost. This is the Spotify exclusive edition. And then I have here just the regular edition. Just clear record. Um, we got here Dead Pan Love by Cautious Clay. 
You got Trained in the Alps by Phoebe Bridgers. Love this record. Um, this honestly is a must own on vinyl. So if you need a record and, and if you don't know what other record to get, get this one. Phoebe Bridgers, Punisher. Denzel Curry, Taboo. Mel My I See Your Future. Wait. I forget what this record is called, called because it's too long. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can. The only two Denzel Curry albums that I need on vinyl. And then I got Wale. Wow, that's crazy. This is the record store day exclusive. Pressed on a nice red record. We got here Juice World, Goodbye and Good Riddance, the only Juice World album I really need, honestly, in my collection. X17 and question mark. Again, the only two albums I need from X, because the other two skins and uh, Bad Advice Forever aren't that good. West Side Boogie, um, Everything for Sale. Such a good album. Such a good album. Jid, DiCaprio 2, and we got The Forever Story. Right? The Forever Story. Got Revenge of the Dreamers, Volume 3. This is the, the deluxe version. Okay, now we're getting into some underground hip hop. We got Dinner at Kobe. One's by Ice Lord. We got Chris Crack, my favorite underground artist. Q Boys, The Rise of Little Delicious. Such a good album. Probably my favorite project from him. If not that one, then it's this one for sure. This one's Chris Crack. Uh, what's this one called again? Haters forgot they were fans first. Love this album. Strays with Rabies by Earth Gang, the only Earth Gang album I have. I still need their album that they dropped last year on vinyl. Or was it? No, it was last year. Spillagen, Spillage Village. Love this album. Uh, we got Shrim Life 2 on vinyl. And we got here Daytona, Pusha T, and we got King Push, Darkest Before Dawn. I still need um, Almost Dry on vinyl. And then we got here Roddy Rich. Um, please excuse me for being antisocial. Redville, Learn to Swim, vinyl, still sealed. Still have yet to listen to it on the vinyl. I also have Isaiah Rashad, The House is Burning, and The Melodic Blue by Baby Keem. Two phone Baby Keem. Excited for his new album. Hopefully it drops this year. Head in the Clouds by 88 Rising. Masego, Study Abroad. This is the record store day exclusive. Uh Got Cash Page Part uh what is it called again? Product card convos. To be Lou non perishable. I own every single variant. Cassette, C D and vinyl. Uh we got Duckworth S G eight. Uh we got Patrick Page the second. Which is, uh, if I fell, are we still cool? We got Pink Sweats, Pink Planet. Another good album. Theophilus London, um, Baby. This one's signed by him. Got Amine, Good For You, and 1.5. Let me take out the records. 1.5. Shout out to my girlfriend for this birthday gift. Limbo. I mean, I still need uh, his 2.5 on vinyl. So maybe after this video, I'll cop that. Now we're getting into our trap albums or my trap albums. Uh, the first one is Quevo Hancho by Quevo. 
right here, culture one. This is on the gold pressing. We've got here culture three. This is the Target exclusive alternate artwork. So much better than the original artwork. Little baby, street gossip. His best album. Flying language two. This is on the uh, splattered green. Gonna wanna. My favorite Gunna album. Uh, DS Forever. I have two chains. Pretty girls love trap music, or like trap music. And right, now we're getting into my future discography. I got here, Honest. This is the Vinyl Me Please exclusive. I got Evil. This is the Record Store Day exclusive. Um, I believe this was from twenty twenty one. And then I got here DS2. This is the Record Store Day exclusive. And I got here Future Hendrix. His best project to date. And then I got Future High Off Life. I got here Savage Mode 2. Not All Heroes Wear Capes by Metro Boomin. I got Playboy Cardi self-titled album. Whole lot of red. I wish we got Little Uzi versus the world. This is the Vinyl Me Please exclusive. Love this record. And I got here Love Is Rage 2. Little Uzi. We got Honcho Jack, Jack Honcho. This is a bootleg. Here Rodeo by Travis Scott. I do own this on vinyl, so. Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight on vinyl. And I got Astroworld, Travis Scott. I am excited for Utopia. Hopefully it drops soon. Um, we got Jack Boys. This one's a pretty disappointing project, not going to lie. ASAP, Long Live ASAP. And then a long last ASAP. And then Young and May, her story. Little Sims, sometimes I might be introvert. This is the Urban Outfitters exclusive. I got Bad Bunny, Aquí Siempre. Yo hago lo que me da la gana. And then last but not least, I got here El Último Tour del Mundo. Still waiting on Un Verano Sinti, so hopefully he drops that on vinyl. Okay, so now we're moving on to probably my favorite part of my collection, and that is my Kanye West collection. So here we go. I do have a pretty good amount of Kanye West in my collection. So the first one is a bootleg Freshman Adjustment Volume 1. I still need to get the second one, but yeah, this is a bootleg, so... That and I got graduation, or I guess I should say grad school. Also, a bootleg is back. I got college dropout. Late registration. Graduation, which is a bootleg. Got eight oh eight in heartbreak. My Beautiful Doctors of Fantasy. I got Watch the Throne. I do keep the records outside of the vinyl. So, uh, just so it could be easier to pull out and stuff. Um, Cruel Summer. Jesus, which is a bootleg. Cruel Summer was also a bootleg. Life of Pablo, also a bootleg. Yay. Got Kissy Ghost. This is the Black Friday edition. And then this is just the standard edition. I still need to get the Walmart variant. Jesus is Keen. And last but not least, Donda. I do keep the records outside of sleeves just because... It's easier to pull out, so.
here's the jacket. I do keep the records outside of the jacket. I do have Ann Clemens. Happy to be here, right? Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Got a young thug. Beautiful thug of girls. This is the Vinyl Me Please exclusive pink record. Got so much fun. Also, Vinyl Me Please. I got punk. This is the lenticular cover. So, I got Care For Me. Also, Vinyl Me Please. Love this album. My favorite Saba record. I got a few good things. And then I got the Vinyl Me Please exclusive. A few good things on a nice tannish goldish record. Now, probably my favorite, or if not, one of my favorite records in my collection. And that is St. John Collection 1. This is the official edition. Collection 1. Uh, probably my favorite artist is between St. John and Kanye West now. Um, God, Ghetto Lenny's Love Songs. The Urban Outfitters exclusive. Those are some rare records. Uh, God Sire by Jaden. Still sealed. Still haven't unboxed it, you know. I always want to wait for the right time. But I don't know when that right time will come. You know what I'm saying? And then I got Iris by Jaden. Still sealed. Still brand new. Again, I'm waiting for the right time. I don't know when that right time will come. And I also need Jaden to press CTV3. His best album to date. I got 070 Shake, Modus Vivendi, her best project, my favorite album of 2020. And then last but not least, 070 Shake, You Can't Kill Me. I am wearing her shirt right now. I love this album. Okay, so we are down to the last part of my vinyl collection. Uh, this is my R&B section. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. Um, all right, so we got Seven Sundays by Sir. Uh, still need Chasing Summer. We got Daniel Caesar, Frodian. This is the, let's see, this is just the regular edition. Just the blue, translucent blue. We got Frodian again, but this one is the splattered edition. Pretty cool. Got Case Study 01. This is just the standard edition. Still sealed. This was, I think, the first record I ever bought. Um, so, yeah. Case Study 01 holds a special place in my heart just because this is my this is my profile picture on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so yeah. Plus, it's my favorite Daniel Caesar album. And this one's the Urban Outfitters edition. And then this one I just got in the mail. This is the Black, Silver, and Blue Swirl edition. Still have yet to unbox this one. Brand new, sealed. I got Never Enough. This is the Target edition, the orange record. And then I got the alternate artwork. Just the watch right there i got omar apollo ivory this is the spotify exclusive white i got absolutely by the john love this album and now we're getting into frank ocean so we got nostalgia ultra this is a bootleg i absolutely love this album or mixtape i should say got channel orange also, a bootleg. Love the album. I got the official copy of Endless. I also got an official copy of Blonde. Fucking love this. This is the repress. And then I got two copies of Blonde. So this one's the sealed one. This one I'm going to uh, frame it up and whatnot. And then I got a bootleg 
blonde, which I'm going to sell this one. So if you guys want this one, then hit me up on Instagram. Okay, we got here Giveon when it's all said and done. Just do right here, take time. Giveon, give or take. This is the Walmart exclusive. Nice sea glass record. I got Joji Ballads 1. This is the, just the translucent clear record. And I got Nectar. This one's just the, uh, the Urban Outfitters edition. And I got the Smithereens. This is the Spotify exclusive blue record. Free Black. East Atlanta Love Letter. And I got his newest album, Since I Have a Lover. I still have yet to unbox this one because this record just came in and it's my most recent purchase. So stay tuned for an unboxing. But by the time you guys watch this, the video will be out probably. I got Bryson Teller, Trap Soul. I got Division, September uh, 5th. This is the uh, record store day exclusive. Then I got Amusing Her Feelings. Got some party next door. We got Colors EP, which includes one and two. Got Party Next Door One. My favorite Party Next Door album. Got Party Next Door 2. Another amazing record. Got Party Next Door 3. And then I got Party Mobile. Such an underrated project. I know a lot of people hate this record, but this record. Shit. We got a New Religion by They. Still sealed. I've had this for years now and I haven't yet unboxed it. But I should though. I know they dropped an album just this year. Hopefully they drop it on vinyl. We got the weekend. House of Balloons. So now we're getting to my weekend collection. Echoes of Silence. The only two weekend projects I'm missing is Thursday and Starboy. Those are the only two I'm missing. I got Kissland, still sealed. Have any unboxed it? I've had it for years. Beauty Behind the Madness. This is the Urban Outfitters edition, or actually, it's the fifth year anniversary. And then I got My Dear Melancholy. This is the Black Friday exclusive. Although I think now you could pretty much cop it, so it doesn't really matter if I got it for Black Friday or. For Rex Store Day or not. We got here After Hours. This is the Splattered Edition. Uh, the red splatter with clear. A clear record with some red splatter. We got After Hours. Um, what is this? The remix? Uh, doesn't even tell me. Yeah, just the After Hours. was. The remix that was a Black Friday exclusive, not Black Friday, yeah, Black Friday exclusive. And last but not least, Don FM, the weekend's newest project. And yeah, that concludes my entire collection video, guys. This was a long one, not gonna lie. Hold up, hold up, I still have to show these. Hold up, these are the only two vinyl box sets I got. So, the first one is the Bad Bunny trilogy, um, comes with all three. I still have. This one in the box. Uh, so if you guys do want to cop this, then hit me up on Instagram. I still have it sealed and everything. I uh, got Party Next Door. This is the box set as well. Came with the four albums. Uh, Party Mobile, Party Next Door 1, 2, 3. Uh, I still have Party Mobile in here. So if you guys want to cop another or if you guys want to cop Party Mobile, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, that is all, guys, for today. If you guys did enjoy this video, 
go ahead and leave a like. Uh, it's been a long one, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, videos. I'm definitely going to be uploading more. And, uh, yeah, go follow my Instagram. I'll leave it in, in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, until then, though.